Hi guys, so today I'm doing something a little bit for a video today, so as you'll probably see behind me is a watercolour palette and some Crayola pens and markers and some makeup wipes. Well, a long time ago I did a video where I tried on makeup using only Crayola pens and paints and markers and um, that was very interesting. Yo guys, Jay Spoiled here. I'm doing a video where I do a full face of Crayola related products. I think I did a very, 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 very great job on it. Well, why are my eyes so bloodshot? I think it's because I'm so tired because I literally did not sleep last night, so. But hopefully these tired and sleepless eyes will be all lit and glammed up with Crayola. So yeah, if you're excited, leave a like in this video, subscribe, I'll do all the things. And um, let's just get into it, shall we? Let's just get these makeups on and let's get a Crayola makeup on. I got this water colour palette thing right now, which is not Crayola, but I was trying to find Crayola paints because I knew there was Crayola watercolour paints, but I could not find any. So I had to just go with this watercolour palette thing. But I did find Crayola markers though. That's pretty good. I don't know, I feel like there wasn't as much Crayola stuff as there was like four years ago. Like, I feel like the Crayola stuff has just like significantly dropped in trade. So, oh, I just opened it and all the Crayola just exploded everywhere. But yeah, I think it just needs me to come back and buy more Crayola pens and markers and things like that to be able to buy more Crayola stuff and obviously be able to make the Crayola people make more stuff for Crayola stuff and bring Crayola stuff back into our lives and in ourselves. So, yeah, so first we need to do the foundation. So, I'm going to use the watercolour palette thing to make a foundation with so basically it's just like these little paints and little paintbrush to paint my face with and I've also got like pot of water as well which I'm going to use so let's just open this thing up shall we? Eh. Mm, I love the smell of new watercolour palettes like you know when you like open up a new water palette and it always looks nice and it looks so tidy and it smells pretty good and it makes you like not want to use it in okay, case you like ruin the whole vibrancy and the whole like new aesthetic of it but that can't happen today unfortunately there's faces that need to be covered in Crayola makeup so okay so I'm feeling a bit yellow today so I might do the yellow makeup plus also can look a bit more like realistic as well uh, I might do yellow and then do like the red for the blush so that's my plan that's my vision about my dream okay so just soak the brush into the water, let it all become wet. Oh yes, the brush is becoming nice and wet. Okay, so the brush is now wet, and so now let's make the red colour wet. Why is it not becoming wet? Why is it still dry? I want it wet. Okay, count the amount of times that I said the word wet. Okay, so I think we've got a bit of wetness going on here, so I'm okay, mixing it all in, coming along nicely, even though it's just spilt into the orange, but that's okay. Okay, this is the most exciting part, putting it on my face for the first time. Okay, so we've got a good amount of paint here so let's get doing oh my god it actually doesn't look too bad actually it gives quite a good coverage also why am i doing it red i wanted it yellow i'm a dope anyway fix so now i need to make the yellow paint wet okay. okay to be fair maybe i should have done it red because i feel like the yellow is not going to provide as much like coverage okay you can kind of see the yellow Oh my, I just realised I'm going to look like a minion by the end of this. Okay, so I'm going to do a time lapse of me putting on this makeup now. Um, this might take a long time, but we'll get there in the end. Okay, so this is a look. So the yellow was just so hard to like, put on, like it just like fell. You have to like do like several brush strokes of the brush to try and make it at least like show the yellow. So it was kind of hard to like, put the yellow on. So I decided to do one half yellow and then also do the other half red. So it actually doesn't look too bad actually. I was trying to think of what this look looks like and it looks like Spanish flag, so. Um, I guess that's something. Now we need to do my eyeshadow, so I'm thinking I might use the markers to do the eyeshadow, so open this up. Yes, I'm going to do the purple, so I'm going to do purple on this side and something else for this side, so. I don't know how you do this, but I think I... Okay, like so. Okay, 
Okay, that's not too bad actually. You can kind of like see it. I might actually on my eyes as well, so where my eye box is. Now I'm gonna do the other side now, so I think I might do a green eyeshadow for the red side. So I do the Italy flag. Well, I feel like I'm doing all the countries of the world. Mind you, it is the World Cup very soon, so maybe this like a celebrity makeup look for the World Cup. Like you could actually wear this makeup for, I don't know, if you're watching a World Cup match between Spain or something, then you can like come to the stadium with this look of the yellow and red look. Like I think I might have invented a look, you guys. Like I'm actually feeling super proud of myself for inventing looks, like just going creative with makeup because that's what makeup's all about like you just become creative with stuff and you do whatever's right and whatever's creative like look at me like I'm literally colouring in like the bits were, were messed off when I did the foundation even though it doesn't work but you know it's still something okay so I might use the red pen to add a bit of blush to the red side so I'm thinking if you like colour it Okay, it does not work on chalky paint. Forget that then. Um, but I will say, like, the foundation is very chalky. Like, every time I go to stretch my face like this, it really does, like, hurt because all the paint's, like, pulling off your face. I can see it cracking. Not the best coverage, we'll say, but you know It's fun, and it's great fun, so... Yeah, that does not make sense. Okay, so with that being said, I think we're almost done now. So it's just eyebrows I need to do next. So just try and colour that in as best as I can. I can't colour this in. I'm trying, okay. I'm trying to make this work. I'm trying to make the Crayola makeup work, but I'm failing at the same time. But you know what? God loves a tryer. Oh, mind you, this eyebrow doesn't look too bad. Like, it, you can see I've, where I've coloured it in. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do for this makeup. So here's the official makeup look of 2022. But that's all I have for you guys today. So I hope you guys like for watching this silly little fun video. I'm going to wash this off right now because the crack and the way it's so chalky is like really irritating my face and it makes me want to like get my fingers and just like rub off all of this so that's exactly what I'm going to do and so uh, yeah have a wonderful day whatever you're doing I shall see you guys in another video hey, bye Okay, so it is a day later now when I filmed this video and I would look a mess. I know the camera quality is not good because I'm filming off my laptop, but I just wanted to jump on here to say that um, when I said that I recreated or invented a makeup look, I didn't. It was literally just a flag of makeup. That's what face paint stuff for, but, um, but it had me thinking. Um, I'm going to post my makeup look on Twitter, so you can go follow me on my Twitter. Um, I'll leave something in the description below um, if, you want, if you want to go follow my Twitter. But I want you guys to come up with your own makeup look out of a flag or a flag of a country and then title it with a hashtag. Hmm, what shall I title it? Um, so obviously, do your own makeup look of like a flag of a country, if you know what I mean. Um, take a photo of it, post on Twitter or anywhere, and then hashtag it with the hashtag, um, hashtag countries makeup lock or hashtag country makeup lock, um, and then just show it all over Twitter because that'd be quite a, a fun little thing to do. But anyway, so I really liked watching this um, video. I shall see you guys very, very soon for some more fun and more fun. That did not make any sense. I need sleep, basically. Hence why I've got this quilt, so I'm gonna get into bed now, because um, I need sleep, so bye! <laughs>